How's it going guys? Today I'm gonna give you a short room tour sa aking man cave slash toy collection room slash gaming room slash office. Uh, I've never really done room tours before so it's not gonna be the best room tour you've seen pero uh, it's gonna give you a pretty good idea kung ano yung laman ng man cave uh, ngayon. So let's go right in. So I don't know how to get this thing started pero I guess uh, we'll start from the left side of the room and then work our way around. We have Funko Pops right here. So for those of you guys na nag start pa lang ng collection, uh, the best way to go is definitely Funko Pops. Because they're inexpensive and pretty much anything pop culture has a Funko Pop version. So can't go wrong with that. Plus they don't take up that much room. You can put them anywhere, put them on your desk, put them on the table. Over here on this side, meron tayong um, several DC pieces. DC Collectibles Wonder Woman on a horse. Um, this is actually fairly new by McFarlane Collectibles Wonder Woman 1984. Gold statue. Um, some Batman statue by Yamato USA. Unfortunately, I think Yamato went out of business. So, may na siya. Um, that's gonna be hard to find figure nowadays. Um, could get really pricey. Have a couple more DC Collectibles. Um, Bane and Catwoman, Play Art Sky, Wolverine busts. We have some, let's see what we have here. Avatar, I think that's one fourth scale. Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie version. And then tayong X Men statue by Diamond Select, Marvel Milestones. Oh, need to fix that. Um, cable. And let's look at the top shelf. Deadpool, Bust, Hulk, Iron Man 1 6 scale. Di naman halata na di tayo siya dung mahili kay Iron Man. And then, second shelf on the bottom, ito yung MCU shelf. So, most of them are made by Diamond Select. Fairly inexpensive pieces. Uh, pero the ones that I like better is your, yung Iron Studios 1 6 scale. Or no, I think this is one ten, um, but they're much more detailed. So, combination of everything para ma complete yung MCU shelf. Um, still a few characters missing, I think. Uh, like rescue, yung ibang uh, villains is still missing. So we're gonna get them as they are released. A couple more statues back there. Um, and then let's go to the gaming setup. Wala akong gaming PC guys, cause. I don't really play a lot on the PC. I think the last game I played was Diablo 3. Uh, that was what, 10 years ago? So it's not the best specs. And I medyo not ako informed sa mga gaming computers. We have a Thor Marvel Milestones statue on the side. Then we're gonna go over to the gaming area. You know, we have the consoles right here, Nintendo Switch. Uh, PS4 with custom umbrella skin, Xbox 360, dock, we have some old school systems right here, PlayStation 2, 3, Dreamcast, SNES, and then the classic consoles, Nintendo Classic, NES, Classic, PS, um, this is a custom um, arcade build with built-in I think it's 4,000 games. Uh, you have to order them and then they're gonna build it, install the games. It takes about three weeks and then they're gonna ship it out. Plug and play. Um, if you have a HDMI cable, you plug it in and doesn't need any CDs or any chip. Uh, video games right here. Mostly PS4. I'm a Sony guy. I mean, I have an Xbox, but I never played it. Um, and then, uh, pretty sure this is one thing na yung mga gamers chan makaka relate. This is one of our biggest problems as you know, working adults buying a video game and never playing it. Tingnan mo yan. I have so many games that I bought that I haven't even opened. I just never have the time to play it. And I'm sure a lot of these games are really good. Lalo na yung mga PS4 exclusives. 
but man, you just never have the time to play it anymore. Anyhow, I hope one of these days, magkaroon ng time. I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan, so I have every single one of them. So lahat ng release meron tayo. I even went as far as to buy the NES cartridge ng mga older Final Fantasy games. One time we went to Japan, I went to these retro video game stores and I looked through every single one of the shelves to find the older Final Fantasy cartridge. Then this side, we have Harley Quinn uh, poster. I forgot kung saan ko siya I think I bought it from one of the Comic Cons or Metro Con. Um, we have the bigger scale statues over here on this side. Ken by PCS Collectibles, Gladiator Hulk, um, Thor, got the Endgame Thanos, and a lot of these guys are limited release, so there's not a whole lot around the market. This is one of my favorite pieces, Hulkbuster by Iron Studios, Diecast, so mukha talaga siyang Totoo, the details are really good. And then we have the one is to one scale Mark III Iron Man. Uh, some video game figures right here PVC figures, Legend of Zelda, Dark Souls, Street Fighter, Bloodborne. I love Bloodborne. God of War. And some uh, gamers out there, add nyo yung. Aking gamer tag sa PS4, Dino Cornell. Meron tayong mga life size uh, scale helmet. Some Street Fighter figure over here on this side. Meron tayong mga Play Art Sky. Hindi um, masyadong obvious na big fan ako ng Final Fantasy. You know, Vince Valentine, Yuffie. Um, I, forgot. I forgot her name from Final Fantasy 15. Uh, Aranea Highway, there you go. Sephiroth, and this is the most latest edition. Uh, Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII, first class edition. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I pa siya not na simulan ko siya, pero I never really took the time to sit down and play it. Hopefully, I get to play it soon because I've heard really good reviews about it. Uh, Spider Man here, Korobukia, 1 6 scale. Uh, and this piece is really interesting. I'm gonna take some time over here. Um, this piece, guys, uh, ko to sa Mexico, and they're handmade. What they do is they um, take fish bone, and then tinutunaw nila, and then mina mold nila into this figure. Everything's hand painted, so it's the only one of its kind. Very, very unique. Um, the sculpt is not the best, pero it's very unique. Attack on Titan over here. Uh, Metal Gear figures on the top. Again, Play Art Sky. Uh, should I show you what's on the cabinet? Maybe. Forgot what's in here. Uh, oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, Meron tayo mga Star Wars figures on the top. Really have nowhere to display these figures. Kaya dito na lang siya sa cabinet. Um, some more Diamond Select over here. Oop, some uh, K pop fans out there. And big fan tayo ng uh, Girls' Generation dati. I mean, they're, they're not really active now, but I would assume papakinyo ko po rin sa... Oh! Oh! Um, meron tayong cigar humidor. I love smoking cigars, but the problem is you have to keep them uh, controlled temperature and humidity or they go bad. Uh, meron dito. Oh! Meron tayong mga McFarlane action figures over here. I don't have anywhere to put it so for now uh, lang sila. oh this thing right here guys sa mga planong mag start ng collection guys you need to invest sa ganitong klaseng duster para ma-maintain yung mga collection nyo look at that boom does all the work for you and then hindi siya masyadong rough so kahit mga delicate yung mga collection nyo, hindi siya masasira. 
Because believe me, kung gagamitan nyo ng manual duster, everything here, oh man, you're gonna spend the whole day trying to clean it. Put this thing back. Anyhow, um, that's it for the tour, guys. Kung if there's any specific figure na gusto nyo nang i-review, gusto nyo i-review ko, gusto nyo makita, I know the biggest challenge sa ating mga kapwa toy collector is, you know, you saw a figure, gusto mong bilhin, pero you go online, uh, there's no review. Hindi mo alam kung anong itsura, you don't know if you're gonna like it. So, kung meron kayong nakita dun sa, sa collection, sa room na gusto nyo i-review ko, or gusto nyo lang makita in detail, let me know, put it on the comments, i-review natin, I'll give you a 360 view so you can make a decision kung bibili nyo o hindi. Um, that's it for, for the room tour guys. Have a great day.